What's up, Ryuki? Mr. Date. Hmm? Is there something on my face? Well, um... Let me guess. Eye patch? <laughs> Looks cool, doesn't it? I'm wearing the patch because Iva ran away from home. That's not the whole story, though, is it, Dante? You tried to watch a VR video of girls splitting watermelons at the beach. I can't do this anymore! I am done being your partner! So Iba leapt out of Dante's eye socket and ended up at my place. So she's at your house right now? No, she's working on a top secret mission. What mission? If I told you, it wouldn't be top secret. I saw the news last night. I talked to Boss earlier too, so I know the gist of what's going on. A corpse suddenly appeared in the middle of a live stream, right? For some reason, just the right half. I could travel through time and space. Advice? I only give advice when I'm drinking, shall we? It's not even noon yet. Who cares? I'm on vacation. Well, I'm not. Come on, my treat, as usual. No, I'll just handle this myself. What? Drink with me. There's a real cozy bar in Omiya I know about. I think you'll like it. All the bartenders are women, aren't they? <gasps> How did you know? And why Omiya of all places? You don't know? Saitama is hot right now. It's warm at this time of year? That's not what I meant. I thought you were on vacation. Yeah, new labor laws. I'm supposed to be on break. Then why are you here? Well, why not? I was bored, so I thought I'd come play darts. This is supposed to be a place of business. Could you not play around in here? What? This room is full of things to play with. Mr. Tate! Sorry to keep you waiting. I'll explain everything later. More importantly... Hold on, don't get hasty. I have some preparations to take care of. What? Huh? Uh... Uh huh. Mm. I see. I see. Meg. Let's go. Yeah. that yeah I was just thinking about Leah I was with him in Golden Yokocho right before I went to the warehouse district that's right you know him too I met him when I was drinking at Brahmin one thing led to another, and we started talking about each other's collection of literature. He seemed pretty proud of his collection. As two kindred souls sharing the same hobby, we lost track of time discussing our love of reading. We even promised to trade our most precious belongings. We've been sworn brothers ever since. Oh, but that's not what we're talking about today. There was something I want to ask him about the HB case. You've been investigating too, Mr. Date? I'm on vacation, so I'm just doing it on my own time. I can't get this case out of my head.
She still hasn't come home. Supposedly, she's on a top secret mission for boss. Certain rumor regarding Horidori Institute. No matter how you slice it, there's no doubt that Horidori Institute is involved in the case somehow. Yes, the Institute and Terror are closely related. The previous incident proves it. But what's their connection? The QR video was based on BATS 490. And BATS 490 was created by Nyes on Tokiko's orders. Tokiko knew the director of Horidori Institute, Chikara Horidori. In other words, Nyes, Tokiko, Chikara, and Horidori Institute are all connected. And Terror is somewhere in there. Or maybe Terror is the one who's orchestrating it all. I contacted him before going to the warehouse district. It's always good to have allies backing you up, right? But Mr. Dati is on vacation. If my precious subordinate is in trouble, I'll come flying to the rescue. Thank you. You've always been so good to me. I've always wanted to repay you somehow, but I... Don't worry about it. As long as I have breath in my lungs, I won't need your help. But when I die someday, I'll need you to do me a solid. When I die, I want you to wipe the hard drive on my computer. How about I bust it open for you right now? No, please don't. Me? Hmm. No, there's not much I want to say. I don't want to confuse you by telling you something that I don't know for sure. I'll let you know once I get a bit more info. Oh, that. It awoken me in third grade. I was walking alone through a deep forest behind my elementary school. It was my shortcut to get home. When suddenly, inside a behind some bushes, I noticed a lone magazine. It was a mag someone threw away. The pages were all crusty and whatnot. I crouched down, and my heart was pounding in my ears as I turned the pages, using a branch. Anyway, that's when it happened. I felt a stinging pain on my right ankle. I jumped up in surprise, and there, I saw a white snake. I didn't know what kind, I was just a kid. But even then, I could tell, that snake had deadly venom. About three seconds later, I was out like a light. They found me out there the next morning. I was on the verge of death for three days and three nights, but I managed to pull through. And that is how I acquired my mag powers. You mean it was a side effect from the snake venom? No, it was more of a mental thing. I had a near-death experience immediately after experiencing mag for the first time. As a result, Eros and Thanatos inside me, Libido and Destrudo, they merged together in total harmony. In other words, I've come to be acutely aware of death whenever I get aroused. To put it in even simpler terms, I'm pushed to the verge of death whenever I see a mag. You know how humans can exert tremendous power in life or death situations? It's because the adrenaline triggers a fight or flight response. The same thing happens when I see a mag. My brain's processing speed increases by 3.6 times in order to avoid death, dramatically improving my reflexes. Sorry. I know that story was dark. As if I've touched upon a great evil. You're touched in the head! You can touch upon my great evil. You nearly die when you see mags, don't you? So then why? Ah, excellent question. I'll answer with a question of my own. Why does a mountain climber seek the top of the tallest peaks? Why does a surfer want to ride the most monstrous of waves? Why do people climb up the highest buildings to do parkour or whatever? Why do they do such reckless things? For the thrill? Yeah, it's how they know they're alive. They can experience firsthand the wonder of life itself. That is the reason I continue to climb the mountain known. Yeah, I think I'm gonna change my last name. Mr. Date? Ryuki. Hey, why are you looking at each other like that? Wait, are you two... Well... Uh... Don't get the wrong idea. Ryuki and I just have a very... intimate relationship. So it is like that! 
No, no, I don't mean... I mean physically. That's like the same thing. Well, not exactly the same. You're looking for the girl, right? Same here. We've been searching since last night, but... I don't think she's around here. Yeah. You need to find Kizuna. You can worry about Terror later. You're here to steal the offering money, aren't you? Yep. Just gotta get some fishing line and gum. And... Uh, of course I'm not! So, Aiba's back in action. Yeah, she just came back. Oh, I miss you, Date. I need you, Date. You should have heard her. Ow! Watch it! Looks like you guys are the same as ever. I'm happy Iva's back, too. Now, where's this coming from? I can't say anything yet. Wait, you know who Terror is? I'll tell you once I can confirm it. But there's something you need to do first. Why, if it isn't your dearest Date? Mr. Date? I'm connecting him. Hey, Ryugi. Where are you now? Um, I'm in the car. Metro Expressway 2. A little past the Shirogane pay station. Perfect. That's close. Close? You're close to the Sejima mansion near Azabu. Sejima? The former politician guy? Yeah, I got a tip. They said a suspicious man in an iron mask is at the Sejima residence. An iron mask? Terror. I'm in the northern part of the city. It's gonna take me a while to get there. So Ryuki, can you get there first? Yes, understood. Don't do anything stupid. Hold your position until I get there. What do you need? Mr. Dante, if he's with us, we won't have to worry about a thing. Hey, I found this crusty old magazine near the pond earlier. I don't believe it. That magazine has the power to shine light on this dark world. What are you going to do with that, Mr. Dante? The landscape has the forest. The secret flower garden. The divinities of this world. Let's see them together. So profound. I want to see Mr. Date. I want to see. Date joins the team. Date solves many difficult cases. He's a highly skilled and reliable detective. Really? I mean, his methods aside, he did solve the case. Yes, technically he did. I think I'm missing something here. Tama, call Mr. Date right away. What for? Just do it! Oh, Ryuki, what's up? I know where Kizuna is. At least, I'm pretty sure. Where? The Nye's building. The cathedral in the basement. Anyway, Mizuki is right. We should be extra cautious. You can leave this to me and Mr. Date. We're the police. Huh? You can't be serious! You want us to stay put here? Hell no, man! Kizzy is in here somewhere, right? I have to save her! Hmm? What's up, Date? You've been staring at Ryuki. Are you thinking about your intimate relationship again? Our physical relationship. And no, I just... It's nothing. Let's get going. Date! Enemy at 4 o'clock! <gasps> Next at 8 o'clock! Stop nagging me! <laughs> Starting to think I'd be better off alone. I am not enjoying being paired with you either. <laughs> Mr. Date, thank you. Don't thank me. 
Just give me a f***ing bag. Hmm? You don't have one on you? No? Why would I? Okay, Iba, do your thing. Beam some f***ing stuff directly into my left eye. What was that for? For making me want to kill you. Oh, yeah? You want to say that again? Hey, yeah! <gasps> Just stand there, you perverted kappa. Hey, I'm not a kappa. But you don't deny the pervert part. Oh, Ryuki, thanks for stopping by. But I can't move. Give me a second. I'll get it off you. That's not gonna work. This is way too big for your noodle arms. Just leave me here. Get going. Come on. What are you talking about? Oh, look at the ceiling. It's coming down soon. You stay here, we both die. But... Just take this with you. Iba? I tried talking to her. She isn't responding. I think the explosion might have knocked her out. Can you fix her? I know her base system is on the cloud, but... That body is... It's important. Ryuki... We don't have much time. One last thing. Before I... Don't talk like that! Just listen. I want you to tell me one thing. When I called you today, I told you a man in a mask was at Tsujima's. And you said, it's terror. How? How did you know? How did you know the man in the iron mask was terror? Yesterday. Was it you that ran away, Ryuki? We should be safe here for now. You changed clothes? That outfit was so hard to move in. With the wire frame and all the stuffing. It's the only reason those guys were able to beat me up. Forget about that! There's so many questions I need answered. I won't let you leave until I have them. What if I want to use the bathroom? You can't just do that here? What if it's number two? Then I'll feed it to you. Look, all you have to do is talk to me. So let's hear it. The day of the explosion at the cathedral, I was captured by terror. What? Were you okay? If I wasn't, I wouldn't be here now. When I came to, I didn't know where I was. I don't know why terror captured me. I wasn't sure if he was going to torture me for information and confidential police secrets. Or maybe he just wanted someone to play backgammon with. Anyway, I was held there for a whole day. Then, 
a white snake slithered into the room. When I saw that, I felt my power churning inside of me. And that's how I was able to break out of the room I was being held in. Wait, wait. What's this about a snake? Oh, the snake? I'll tell you about it some other time. I had lost my memory, actually. I think when the ceiling collapsed, something fell in my head. I had completely forgotten that I'm a special agent at Abyss. After I escaped, I wandered around the country. I had no memories, so I took on day labor jobs. Before coming back here, I worked at a hot springs in Atami. So you were there? I really should have drowned him. Yeah, I've got it back now. It was a few days ago when I saw the news about the stadium. February 10th, Jin Furaway's left half being found. At that moment, I remembered everything. About my past, the HB case, everything. But I didn't return to Abyss right away. I decided to start my own investigation. Why? I thought there might be something fishy about Abyss. I thought maybe Terror was involved somehow. So that's why you didn't contact us until now. I'm sorry for not telling you right away. I know that Nyes is trying to do something crazy, but I still haven't been able to find Terror. The only real lead I have is the body that was found at Brahmin. But I don't know who it is or how it got there. I wanted to ask Gen about it. I knew that Horidori Institute and Nyes were involved with the HB case. Gen had connections with Horidori Institute and his acquaintances with Tokiko. So I asked Gen to let me borrow his appearance and his name. I thought it would make it easier for me to investigate Horidori Institute and Nyes. You didn't refuse, Genny? I can't say no to Date. No, I wanted to investigate something else. So I wasn't Gen the whole time. Okay. Hmm? What's wrong? Nothing. You're just so similar. I heard that Kisuna went missing, so I tracked her smartphone GPS, which led me here. The phone was destroyed. Yeah, I saw it at the bottom of the stairs. But I was able to get the location before that. I loaded him up with powerful anesthetic bullets. 20 times stronger than a sleep dart. Should last at least 12 hours. Huh? Why did you do that? Now I won't be able to ask where Kizuna is, idiot! Oops. About that, there's an explosive on the back of his head. It'll explode if you try to take the mask off. Terror isn't getting up. Maybe if I put a compound fracture in his leg... No. You know how they knock patients out with anesthetics before surgery? That's basically what I used. He's gonna be out for a while. So what am I supposed to do? Sorry. Don't be sorry, be smart! Think of a plan to find Kizuna! I guess we'll just have to take him to Abyss. We need to sink. Sink? Yeah. Then I have an idea. We go there. Still here, as expected. It's supposed to break if you try to move it. Thanks to that crazy guy. Wow! The vile, lowly, perverted old man is here too? Who are you calling perverted? Oh, you could hear me? You didn't cut the line off. You do realize I have a reception device in my left eye socket, right? Anyway, I never thought I'd see you there, Iba. She is much more comfortable than you, Date. Though her chest size does leave much to be desired. That has nothing to do with anything. Ladies, we have a job to do. Yeah, 
We need to sync with Terror. Date, can you back me up? You're gonna do it? Of course. I feel like I should do it. Don't worry, my body's recovered a little. Are you sure? I said I'm fine. I have Iva with me too. Indeed. If you say so. Okay, we're ready. <sighs> Remember, you can only stay in Somnium for... Enough already! But I didn't even get a chance to say it. Just start it. Fine. Let's do this. Three, two, one. Jeez, just relax. I can't just relax! Oh! And most importantly... Who the hell is this?! What, isn't it obvious? Wait, you're that stupid porno mag collecting old man. No. Yes. Why are you dressed like that? Where is Genny? What are you doing here? And one last thing. Where have you been the past six years? Why didn't you try to contact me? I'm sorry, Mizuki. Okay. I think I kind of get it. Six years ago, Date lost his memory when the ceiling collapsed on him. Then he got captured by terror, but managed to escape. And he's been wandering the Earth for the past six years. Five days ago, on the 10th, he heard the news about Jin's body being found, and finally got his memory back. That's right. What? Do you have more insults to hurl at me for missing six years of your life? No, it's not that. Maybe she just wanted to hear you say, Mizuki, you've grown so much, or something emotional like that. No, not that either. Ah, right. For you, it's been six years. For me, it's different. I've been back for four days dressed like this. I've been watching you guys the whole time, so I don't really have anything sappy to say. I told you, it's not that! I'm home. Welcome back. Is that what you wanted to hear? All right, okay. Let me try this again. Mizuki? I'm home. Welcome back, Date. But that's not what I wanted to say. I threw away all your mags. No! I know that Horidori Institute and Nyes are both caught up in the HB case. Gen was created at the Institute, and he was acquaintances with Tokiko. So, by borrowing his mask, I could snoop on Tokiko and other members of Horidori Institute. But why do you still look like that here? Horidori Institute and nice people come here all the time. Imitating Gen makes it easier to eavesdrop on them. I'm gonna be honest, this has gotten way out of hand. I can't do this on my own. We need to work together to stop their plan. Their plan? Yeah, the Nirvana Initiative. So first, I contacted Mizuki Kuranushi. Date and I met six years ago. He knew how to get a hold of me. I shared everything I had, and told her to find you, Mizuki. To help stop them? Basically. Let's talk about it later. Trust me, if I explain it now, it'll only confuse you. We don't have enough information yet. Looks like we're gonna need some extra help. Help? Over here. Come with me. There's nothing over here. You would think that, right? But check this out. Open Sesame! Marco, please. Uh, 
what is this? Do you like it? Erotic, isn't it? How is this in any way erotic? Much more erotic than watermelon splitting. Let's get going. Y yeah. Ryuki, you made a mistake. But lying around here in all your misery isn't gonna fix anything. If you really regret what you did, solve this case. That's the only way to atone. Ryuki, I remember one night we went out drinking. You told me about your little brother. You always talk about him when you drink. You made him a promise, right? He said, I'll become a hero of justice. If I've fallen, I just need to get back up again. You used to say it all the time. It doesn't matter how many times you fall. As long as you have a body to do it, you climb back up again. Come on, Ryuki. Climb above the debris. It doesn't matter if you're pitiful. It doesn't matter if you show vulnerability. You struggle, you crawl, and you make it back to the top. That's what we do. That's what makes us human. Mr. Dante. Yeah, let's get groping! What? I mean, let's get going. Mizuki, please allow me to terminate Date after all this is over. Mizuki, you're stronger than all of us. You can take care of yourself. Are you gonna go help Date? Without me, he's ineffective. He needs me, or else... Got it. Leave this to me! Home. Why'd you come back? To retrieve my stamp collection. I do not want to have to start over. <laughs> it appears that you require assistance. Need a hand? <laughs> I don't need your hand. But what I could use is your eye. Understood. I am with you, Kanami Date. Good. Let's go. Six o'clock, Date. Oh, got it. Meow. Meow, meow. I have permission to shoot. Granted. If that were the case, I wouldn't be here, meow. Anyway, it's one big happy ending. Meow. Please, don't talk about him. Please. What is it? Oh, nothing. 